guys, mabuhay maligayang pagbabalik sa aking YouTube channel. Siyempre, nagbigay na ng statement si Sharon Cuneta regarding dun sa naging issue nga about um, attorney Salpanelo. Of course, na may kinalaman sa kantang sanay walang, wala nang wakas. Marami nga ang bumatikos kay Sharon. Marami ang bumira sa kanya at kahit yung mga iba pa like sila Gladys Guevara at iba pang mga um, kumampi nga at nagsabi. Kumampi kay sa, uh, attorney Panelo at syempre... Um, hindi na nila hinintay pa na magbigay man lang ng statement or pahayag si Sharon and right now, eto na nga po babasahin ko na ang kanyang statement sabi niya ganyan, ang haba nitong statement niya sana'y wala ng wakas I thought long and hard about whether I should write this kasi bugbog na bugbog na ang issue at ayoko na sana dagdagan but I decided to because in the end it's the truth that matters to, to me and to those of you would care to know it I posted about someone singing my song during a campaign sorry that wasn't one of VP Lenny and Kikos I thought that since I said I only I only allow Lenny Kiko people to sing it during campaign season is what I meant. People people would understand why I reacted in such a way. Truth is, I felt slighted. Sa akin parang minamaliit si Kiko at ang pagtakbo niya ng BB. Dahil sa dinami-dami ng kanta, bakit naman kanta ko pa ang napili? Dahil kaya Goliath ang BB candidate niya sa, da sa David kong asawa, nasaktan ako. Ang pagkakamali ko lang, sana yun mismo ang pinost ko. Pero dinaan ko sa biro at sarcasm, kaya madaming di nakaunawa. Kaya siguro CNN Philippines singled out his performance of my song in any article on CNN Philippines online. Uh, suspect it was because they too found it a bit off. Ngayon lahat ng masasakit na salita ginagamit sa akin ng ibang tao. My song is 36 years old. Ilang libo na ang umawit ng kanta ko sa parties, contests, shows. Never ko pinagdamot ang awit ko kahit kanino. In fact, I feel honored whenever someone chooses it to sing. Siyempre, mas madaming may gusto sa kanta mo. Mas maligaya ka. Pero panahon ng kampanya. Ngayon, iba ang dating sa akin nung inawit ng politiko na hindi namin kapartido. Ayoko na nga ng politike Politika kaya never akong tumakbo kahit na madami na ang humiling na tumakbo ko for public office since I was in my 20s. Actually, iniisip ko nga kung kailan ako nagdamot ng kahit ano. Wala akong maisip mula nung bata ako, mas masaya ako sa pagbibigay kaysa nagtatago ng pwedeng ibigay. Kanta ko pa kaya, hindi ko rin naman alam noon na meron pala siyang special child at siyang naalala niya sa awit ko. At balita ako, gagamitin na daw niya ito to raise awareness on the needs of special children. Natutuwa ako nakanta ko pala ang magiging paraan para maisip niyang gawin yon. remember, I have been helping and supporting children with special needs since 1993 I was even named honorary chairperson, chairperson by the Chosen Children Village Foundation that was where I started and I moved on to other organizations and individuals but with special needs and not at di ko ginawa lahat yun dahil tumatakbo ako for public office. Ganun lang ako talaga pinalaki ng daddy ko at mami ko. It is people who don't know me personally have been so quick to attack and call me names. Even those whom I thought knew me well enough and loved me. Have joined their party. But it is during times like this when you find, find out who your real friends are. Those who sincerely care about you and tell you what they think. So... Though I stand by my feelings and thoughts on the matter, I would like to apologize for the words I use in for the words I use in my post and to those I have hurt by them, I should have just said exactly how I was feeling and in a more respectful manner. No ma I'm also sorry my charming Sharonians I disappointed you Hindi kasi ako plastic Bakit nga ba madaming nagsasabing Plastic ako Eh kaya nga ako natutrovel sa social media Eh kasi Kasi nga Wala 
akong strategy at emotional ako. Even then, mali ako sa pagkakasulat ko sa post ko. Alam nyo na nung araw, dinidibdib at nilulun ko na lang kasi lahat. Pag ang feeling ko, pagbabangga o pagkalabit sa akin na bad way, napagod ako, natutong sumagot, lumaban. Lalo na pagpamilya ko ang involved, nakala mo kung pagsalitaan kami para namang nakapatay kami ng tao. But I should check myself and never act immediately when I am highly emotional. Sabi nga, do not make decisions when you are either too angry or too happy i made a mistake and thinking back whenever i have made a mistake on social media it was always a reaction to something said or done against me i have never started anything negative i am posting this knowing so many have already decided they would hate me whether i did or something or said something or even when i didn't that doesn't matter what does is that those of you who love me Know that this is from my heart and that I am decided. That doesn't matter. You love me, you know, and that I am grateful for you. God knows because He sees everything again. I am sorry and how I wish. Tapos ng buwan ng Mayo. God bless us all. I love you. Thank you so much for your time. Ayan. Okay na siguro naman yun. Nag-apologize na si Sharon, di ba? So, um, si Sharon naman ay kilala kong tao. Um, ganyan lang siya. Pero maano, malambot ang puso niya. Maraming nang gumawa ng kasalanan sa kanya na pinatawad niya. At syempre, at knowing her, mapagbigay naman talaga si Sharon. It's just that, aminado naman siya may pagkakamali siya sa posting niya. So, um, ang lahat naman ang humingi ng tawad ay dapat patawarin. Kaya lang nga, nakakalungkot lang pati yung mga dating nag uh, nagkakandarapa na mag sa mga show niya. Sumausaw na, nagalit sa kanya. Parang hello, kilala niyo naman si Sharon, ba diba? So, yun lang naman ang point. Ngayon na nag-apologize siya, mababawi niyo pa ba yung mga masasakit na sinabi niyo sa kanya? So, ganun lang magkakasalubong at magkakasalubong kayo. Sana konting hinay lang. Yun lang naman muna po for now. So, again, nag-sorry na si Sharon. So, tama na naman, ba diba? Okay.